Hey there folks, welcome back to the Tower Tech. We're taking a look at another lineup in the Hue app range, again developed by a third party. The previous video I did on this has done surprisingly well, so, so many of you had requested either an update on the video and indeed a specific request on the app that I'm gonna look at, and that is Hue Dynamics. Now this is actually up for an award by Microsoft at their Developer Awards for Creator of the Year. Sounds like it's doing pretty well as an app, so let's take a look at it. Roll the credits. So this device is available on any Windows enabled device. So that's your PC, it's your Xbox, it's your Windows phone if you've got one. I don't know why you'd have one of those, but if you've got one. And it also boosts some Cortana integration. So a bit like we've used with the Amazon Echo Dot and the iPhone, there is the ability to use voice commands to control your lighting. Now you may be able to see behind me, I've got my Hue strip flickering. This is from a fireplace type effect. So a bit like you get in the, the Hue app from Philips, there's a whole set of scenes, albeit it calls them experiences, as well as the usual set individual lights to individual colors, etc. There's some music integration and the app just looks fab. Okay, folks, I'm going to take a look at the actual app itself now. And I've got a camera here that's looking down at my desk strip and you'll be able to see as I'm making changes in the apps what that's actually doing to the lighting. I was going to capture all the lights, but guys, if I'm honest, I couldn't be asked. It was going to take forever to set that up. So hopefully this will give you a good enough view and you'll be able to understand what the app is doing. So here we are on the home stream, uh, the home screen rather, should I say, and there's a whole load of tabs along the bottom here. And the main one that you're going to be interested in is the status tab here. Now that gives you all of your rooms, which you can drill down into. It tells you whether you've got an ambience or an experience going. You can power the lights on or off from the screen as well. Then you've got the ambiences themselves. So very much like the scenes from the Philips Hue app, these are going to set a series of complementary lights uh, complementary colors based on the scenes that you see in front of you. So if we go back to our rooms and if we select our office and we want to pick Peacock, there we go. We can see that the lights have changed. Now what you can't see is there are three other bulbs in here, one of which has gone green, one of which has gone blue, and one of which has gone blue. So I've got complementary colors all around. We can go to coral again, the light changes and, 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 and. And what you've also got in this app are experiences. Now the experiences give you, they give you, they give you music or sound effects as well. Now being someone who's interested in Far East or Southeast culture, should I say, the Tibetan temple noise and the ambience light that comes from that I think is quite relaxing now if you actually watch that light strip over a period of time you can see that the light is cycling very subtly around different colors it's fading fading in and fading out the other lights are doing that as well and actually for a room that's got four lights configured within it, you can actually start to get a pretty nice relaxing setup. With a little bit of tweaking, this can be absolutely perfect. So in addition to the ambiences and experiences that we've taken a look at, there's also a mode that allows you to flicker the lights, different colors in tune to the music. It's called the disco mode. It is in beta, but it does work. And there's also the ability to use your webcam to actually look at a room, particular colors, or indeed a movie as it's playing, which again can combine uh, various different colors into a rhythm to match the film that you're watching. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with this app. Remember that this was about three pounds, 
$3.99 and it actually combines about four or five different apps that you would need on your iPhone to get all of these different effects. So that's pretty good value for money. Hey Cortana, lights off in the office. All right, turning the office lights off. Hey Cortana, lights on in the office. All right, turning the office lights on. Hey Cortana, lights play fireworks in the office for 30 minutes. Okay, starting fireworks in office. Hey Cortana, light stop. Here's what I found. Hey Cortana, light stop. Okay, stopping effects. So not seamless guys, not quite as good as Siri, but not bad and good fun if you haven't got one of those apps. Some of the sound effects or some of the noises can be a little bit overpowering. Of course, you can dial the volume back, you can mute it, or you can turn the volume off at all. And some of the effects I find, the color can be slightly garish as you move from one to another, but I suspect that's probably more to do with the the settings on the hue bulbs themselves, some colors feel brighter and oversaturated compared to others, but that's about the bulbs rather than the, the app itself. All in all, I have to say, I think the experience has been pretty good. And I would definitely recommend this. It's great value for money. It'd be great to see whether they win at the Microsoft Awards tomorrow. So good luck to the developers of that. And that just about rounds it up for this video, guys. So I hope you're really well wherever in the world you are. If you're not already subscribed, please do so guys by bashing that button down there it helps the channel out immensely if you enjoyed this video smash that like button and how about a share your friends might enjoy this content too i hope you're really well wherever in the world you are and i'll see you in my next video